Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat and welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be doing a tips and tricks video on the game mode tumble slash spleef on the shovels game mode. So to start with, let's go straight into this and talk about the tips and tricks that I'm going to be giving you guys. And before we get right into the gameplay, because we'll bring the gameplay towards the end, I'm going to be showing you guys my top two tips on the shovel game mode, which you guys can use to basically win near enough every game. So let's get straight into this. My friend is gonna be helping me out with this. He has actually been volunteered to help me with this, which has been really awesome. So it's pretty simple. In shovel mode, one thing I'd like to explain is how the blocks are basically, you see how the blocks are whole blocks, but one little tip my friend is showing me here, you can actually stand in between all four blocks and you'll notice when I break one of these blocks, they won't fall because he's actually his skin, Tay Tay's skin is actually registering on all of the blocks so when i break that one he doesn't fall because he's actually standing on all four now this is a great tip for the actual game itself when you're actually playing shovels or snowballs if you run in diagonals you'll always be on four blocks or if you run down the straight hand side like in between where the blocks are placed you'll always be on four blocks this will reduce your chance of actually getting hit off which i do in all the gameplay i always do this this is one of my top tips and i would advise definitely doing this in your games which you play on now another great tip for shovels itself see there's an example of him standing in the middle where he went down but another great tip is this one here now tnt now obviously shovels you've only got shovels and you're probably wondering what about tnt pat why is it so good well obviously if someone's built an island or something they're going to hide on that island for the whole game and they're not going to be able to get off the island. Well, it's pretty simple. What we can do is you will be able to get eventually as the game starts to end, you'll eventually get final like showdown and you'll get given snowballs on the shovel game mode. And this is what makes me actually like the shovel game mode more than the snowball one now because I actually prefer it a lot more. I used to prefer snowballs, but after playing it and recording this video, I prefer shovels now much more than the snowballs. But the TNT, you can break the block on top of the TNT like we're doing here, and the TNT will not go off. And you can use that TNT to a little dent and save someone was building an island like over there. We could hide on here and we'd be able to fire snowballs and he wouldn't be able to get us. Anyway, moving on to the gameplay now. Now this is a bit of a weird gameplay. This is my first game on, and usually when I go on Minecraft Xbox, for some reason, I always have my hub and my thing turned off. And because the game had already started and I'd already started recording I was like oh no let's go for it but it actually turned out pretty good so this is the tip that I advise as well movement is key in both shovels and snowballs I have got another video coming out for shovels uh, for snow not shovels for snowballs which will give you guys some advice exactly on how to win every single time with snowballs but on this one this is going to give you advice for shovels and basically movement is another one of my three top tips you've got Obviously, you've got the blocks where you're running, like how you're standing on the blocks, and then movement as well. So if you're consistently moving like I'm doing in this one here, you'll notice that no one will be able to get you. Now, for the whole of this clip, I just keep running and running. It's all about your parkour. Now, if you're not very good at parkour, I probably wouldn't advise doing this. One of the tips my friend told me to do was just dive straight in for the feet. But in all honesty, I did try that before I started recording. And it just didn't work. Honestly, I couldn't manage to get that many people off. And for some reason, I just couldn't manage to kill anyone. Now, another little tip as well to notice. I was thinking of building an island here. And I was like, you know what? Should we build it or shall we not? And I was like, oh, he's coming for me. Let's get out of here. But building an island is not a good idea at all. I don't know why I was doing that. It was only my first game on without any experience. But it's pretty obvious that you can win and you can lose. It's not always going to guarantee a win movement like this. But diving in for the feet can be a bit risky. But doing this exactly what I'm doing right now, consistently running, turning in sharp turns, using third person and the backwards camera to find out where your opponent is is very key you'll need to use this camera especially the one i'm using now this one really does help you if the parkour isn't that bad see how i'm doing nice tight turns like that to make sure he's or she is not very far behind me she's over there so i'm running away over here and the other guy he's up on there and he's not doing much at all but i'm running away from her just running around here like this get my third person out and i run down here and this is when i kind of feel a bit i can go to lose but then i managed to escape one other thing I'd like to mention as well is the little stars around her. That means that she's one off winning. And I joined this game pretty late. But that person who's playing as that character, she is actually one off winning the game if they've got stars around them. Now, not many of you may, I have been getting a few questions. What do they mean? So that is exactly what them stars mean. If you see someone with running around with stars, make sure they don't win because you are going to lose. So this bit was pretty risky. She's over there and she's like, oh, right, we got to hide. So I was thinking of building my little island and I'm like, oh, you know what? Let's build our little island now. What actually made us win this was because I built my little island, I 
hided on my little island and it switched to snowballs. Now we were very lucky here because what happened is I was trying to survive and she for some reason tried getting me and I did manage to shoot my snowballs and I was like right now's my chance and obviously my island's bigger than his so I've got a good chance here and this is where an island can come in handy if you've got a bigger island than the other person you're most likely going to win because you can move around see I was, I was I was standing on a diagonal see how I moved from the diagonal to the normal obviously you can't exactly see how it's going but anyway let's get straight into the next clip over here on the tips and tricks this is actually a really good gameplay one from me again in the same game of me actually winning the whole entire game now do stick around to the end of the video because I've got some funny moment type things right at the very end the people doing some epic gameplay right at the very end people trying to get me and absolutely failing I'll get that on at the end but here you can see me running around and this is the same game but now I've turned my hub on because I managed to turn it on in the loading screen and we're in the same game it's still she's winning with the stars and I have just joined so this is the second round and now's my chance so we gotta watch out because she's won off the whim and we have to try and win this game I believe this is the same game definitely from what I can remember it may just be another skill I'm not too sure but anyway so we're gonna be running around and again I'm doing my running technique this is why I like shovels a lot this technique is very I know a lot of you probably won't like me for doing this technique, but it works and it is probably the most effective technique. You're not going in for the kill, you're running, you're dodging, you're going to keep dodging as many people as you can. The more people you dodge, the more chance you've got as winning. If you can dodge as many things as possible, other people are probably going to mess up on the parkour. Now again, I do advise you have to have very good parkour skills to do this at fast pace. Because you've got endless sprint, you can keep jumping. And you can see I'm playing against one person now. I'm just going to keep running and running and running and running until they make the mistake. It's as simple as always switch to snowballs. Because snowballs, personally, are a lot easier to knock someone down in a 1v1. Whereas shovels can be very risky. If you're very confident with running in for 1v1, feel free consistently doing what you're doing. It's not a bad idea fighting someone on 1v1. But I like to. I was trying this for the video itself. I was just going to keep running and running and see if he made the mistake. Now, again, you've got to be good at parkour for jumps like that. That's a four block jump on a diagonal, which is a difficult jump that one then so you have to get them perfect If you can't get your parkour correct, which in all honesty, I'm not the best at parkour I was just feeling it for this game <laughs> If you're not the best at parkour like myself, I probably wouldn't advise doing this I was just trying to get some footage for the video So it's pretty good tips and if you're really good at parkour 100% do this tactic You've got a good chance of winning so again I'm using the third person camera to switch around and switch in between them so I know whereabouts he is again you press the left stick in to do that if you are unfamiliar with that uh, you can switch between first person and third person to avoid your enemy pretty simple you can just keep pressing it and pressing it in and you can avoid them very very easily it's pretty simple how to do it it's not difficult at all it's pretty good now we're switching over to snowballs so we got a good chance here i went over to my little island over here keep running i was like i have to keep running because i want to try it so we're going to keep running when we get in close we're going to engage with the snowballs so we're going in close we're going in close here we go we're in close and boom the snowballs managed to win us the game there you go so we won that round and the next round is on so obviously you have to win three rounds which can be a little bit difficult because there's a lot of players and here we are again trying to win the third round now this is quite a long round and it's the same sort of tactics as before but a lot more skill involved in this round itself now it's not as easy as you think this game it can be very difficult to get some of these people down so here we go we're going to try our best to knock these people down uh i don't know if we're going to be able to do it straight away i think i just keep running and running now with ice this is one of my other tactics as well you see how i'm running in diagonals consistently i'm always switching over to the diagonal because i'm over i'm covering more ground technically because your guy renders in on four blocks rather than one so i'm always running either on a diagonal never really in a straight line because you'll never be able to well I wouldn't say never, but if you're running a straight line, you're always going to fall over. If you're running diagonal, you're never really going to fall off as much anyway. <laughs> Not never, because I have fallen off and people have managed to get me off. But it is a lot more difficult to knock someone off. And here again, I'm running down the in-between the blocks. That's key as well. All about movement in this game. And again, we're down to a 1v1, just me versus one person. Once again, everyone has fallen. You're probably wondering, why aren't you going in for the kill, Pat? Why aren't you going in for the kill? Well, the person I am actually fighting was one off the win. So I have to be really careful. And you can see myself, I am one off the win. If you look at my screen closely, Every now and then a little green flash keeps happening you've got to make sure that that if you've got that you've got to win if someone else has got theirs and you're fighting them if you lose you've lost so we're gonna keep running we're gonna keep running we're gonna keep running and i'll wind this on a little bit 
So here we go, we're winding it on as fast as we can, we're running around super, super quick, like lightning speed, and we're dodging as many attacks as we can. I'm just running and running, and then she suddenly decides to build her own little island, and I'm like, why are you actually doing that? I'm going to definitely win this. So it's going to switch over to snowballs any second now, and I'm probably wondering, why is she doing this? Why was she doing this? So I was definitely wondering that, and then I switch over to my snowballs just like this right now, and I'm like, oh, I have to have the killer. She can't make a jump from this, and watch this. I hit, I hit, and somehow, my snowballs that I launched her made her fly in Midair and she managed to get over. Now, the showdown's on. So now it's 1v1. I'm really annoyed when I was playing this. I was very annoyed how she managed to do that. I thought it was going to be a clear win. But clearly it wasn't. Now this was an intense fight. This was really hard. You can see how all the blocks themselves, the whole arena is trashed. Now it's all about running and dodging. Now I'm not the best with snowballs because it's not my favorite. It was my favorite, but it's a lot I don't know, it's quite difficult to knock someone down with snowballs themselves in general. So as you can see, I'm running as fast as I can to dodge as many attacks as I can. And over there, she's actually managing to hit me. I'm hitting her at range. And we're both hitting each other there. She's only got a few bots in front of me, so it's not too bad. But I was worried that maybe I could get stuck. And there's a lot of holes in the floor. So you really have to be careful where you're running on this one. Uh, I was definitely nervous running around doing all this parkour stuff because it is difficult. And the amount of stuff in the way is very hard. So this is when this proper challenge begins. Begins. It's proper difficult to get this kill. This is going to be very difficult to make a fall into the lava. But as we keep running, we're going to keep trying our best to get a 3-0 win. Bear in mind, I did join this game late and she was already 2-0 up. So this is an epic comeback if I managed to get the kill here. So let's keep trying and keep trying and keep trying and try and get our kill. So as you can see, she's launching snowballs at me, winging them across. I'm going to try and make our little run around here. Try and jump up here nicely like this. There we go. And we're going to run and run and run and run. All right, all right. So we're going to... Keep running, keep running, keep running, jump, jump. This bit's really difficult because look at the parkour in there. So I had to turn back. We've got to keep running back. We're going to have to run back. So we're running back, running around the side, and she's making a jump across the difficult parkour. We're going to fire our snowballs in as fast as we can. And she misses the jump. And there we go. A nice little win. And the game is won by myself. Now, you'll notice at the end of this game, I did get uh, one of the worst things you could probably get. <laughs> Quantity, not quality. But it doesn't matter. As long as I fire as fast as I can, we still won. Just rapid fire them snowballs when you get to the end bit. Anyway, here's one of the funny gameplays. This is a really funny one. This is talking a little bit about why islands are good and islands ain't so good. So on this gameplay here, you'll see that I'm trying to build my own little island. This guy actually counters me from building the island. I managed to make him fall. He was going directly for my feet, so I fought back. In this one, I wasn't really doing too much running. Usually, I do a lot of running on this one, but I thought he's going to fall as well. <laughs> he just came running straight across. There you go. Nicely done. Just like that. You saw that. Ding. Straight down. <laughs> that really did like make me laugh. Another little thing tips as well. If you've got the pumpkins, you can use them pumpkins for an extra layer because there is actually a block underneath them uh, jack-o'-lanterns or pumpkins. I think they are pumpkins. And then uh, you can use them as another layer and you can hide on top of them. Now, this is a really good position I have here because i got my little pumpkin and it's quite a big island for snowballs. Now, he misses that jump. What an epic fail. He did nearly hit me, but see, I was standing in between four blocks there. He didn't manage to get me off because he only hit one block. Again, that's another little thing that they should probably kind of work out with the rendering, he managed to fall over there, and there you go, simple win, nice and easy, they knocked each other off, little island thing, did work, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, islands is one of them, it's a 50-50, in my opinion, anyway, islands are definitely 50-50, now do remember to go and check out the video on snowballs, it's a great tips and trick video again, help you win snowballs every single time, personally, shovels is now my favourite game mode, but this video has been very helpful, if you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a like, and tell me why you've done good, this is another funny clip here, me invading someone's island, I'm like, nope, you ain't building no island running around again some guys coming across here over there so we've got to watch out uh, we're going to make our little jump across here another guy trying to build his island over here we're going to go in straight for the kill over here spin it spin it spin it now this is me playing in third person i don't know why i was playing in third person i'm going to keep running going to try and get him in third person and boom nice and easily done and that's an easy win they're just two little gameplays that i got in that game unfortunately i think i did actually lose that game in the end oh no, yeah i did actually lose it tay tay actually won i'm not too sure exactly how because i won that round but he did manage to win but he was actually helping me with some of the clips anyway so that's fine and anyway so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget to leave it a like comment and subscribe and go and check out the other video which will be out next week sometime make sure you stay tuned make sure you've turned your notifications on for this channel because this is the best channel for tips tricks I've got my survival let's play and i've got the let's play where i tour your survival world so don't forget to go and check them out and once again make sure you're subscribed and this is postbots pat signing out